An emergency response, freight and trucks is a, often a concern. This is, there's now roundabouts throughout the country that have fire stations nearby them, uh, or in this case, a leg right off of the roundabout. And, and actually, one of the first projects I worked on, uh, the fire chief, I was in a public meeting, and uh, I was sort of speaking to a crowd and giving the presentation, and, and people were asking questions about it, and it was new and different, and people had very significant concerns, and, and the fire chief stood up in this community, and he's the guy that the community looked to. He'd been there for 30 years, and he said, you know, I thought this was a really bad idea when I first heard about it. Uh, I called around to some of my colleagues, and, and he, in, a, in a couple of minutes, he said, uh, I think the roundabout's the best choice here. I mean, I couldn't have spoke for three weeks and had the same impact on the community that he, the, the guy that they looked to, had by making those comments. So um, uh, it still can be a concern, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a, <clears throat> they work well. So Federal Highways has a really nice brochure out. Um, if you don't have it, you should, you should have that available for folks. It actually talks about emergency response uh, considerations and concerns and, um, you know, it talks about the frequently asked questions that you get for that, such as, you know, will, tr will our trucks get through? Uh, what about response time? I mean, at the end of the day, the studies are all showing the trucks get through very, very handedly. Response time is typically improved. Uh, and then it talks about driver reaction uh, and those sorts of issues. So freight and trucks. So this, this image up here on the left side shows a truck hung up on the central island on the curb. Clearly, if that, that driver comes to my meeting or your meeting and looks at me and says, I don't like roundabouts, they don't work very well for me, you can understand why. Um, this roundabout's not designed for the users. So, so design is important. How they're designed is very important. So we use design software that, that has the trucks in it and we size them for the design vehicles that we want to design for. <coughs> And so um, it's not guesswork, it's not lucky, it's, it's design work, it's engineering. So we, we, we can design, I went through a project recently in, in um, Scottsdale, Arizona, very, uh, uh, very uh, equestrian area, and so uh, you know, designing for that type of vehicle, it's typical trucks can be designed for as well. Uh, we have different design methodologies that we can use depending on how many trucks are at, around, at the site and those sorts of things that can determine what we want to do. Um, this is showing a flared, in, you know, a, a project, a specific design or the, a truck. This is a state highway. About 18% heavy trucks traverse this roundabout every day. This is a project in Ohio that is a they want a very pedestrian friendly environment. It's also on a state highway. So balancing the needs of the vehicles and the speed control becomes the design exercise in that case. And there's design techniques that we, that we can use to accommodate uh, both the trucks and keep speed slow uh, for the safety of everyone. 